Hey guys! So by now you've hopefully been having a lot of fun playing around with some outfits and you might be really wanting to see how they look in the game. Getting an outfit into the game is unfortunately a topic that's a little too complicated to delve into just yet. But what I want to do in this quick video today is show you how we can use the tutorial mod to have a quick look at what you've been doing. Before I start, let me say right up front, and I can't emphasize this enough, that what I'm showing you today is just a band-aid. This is a temporary fix so that you can have a quick look, and this is not the way that you'll want to do this for real. We will talk about the real ways you can add outfits into the game in later videos, after we've covered some really important points that you'll need to know in order to do it properly. I want to take a moment here to thank everyone for your kind comments so far on the tutorial videos. I'm so glad I've been able to help you guys, and I'm really excited to hear that you're having some success and feeling more confident about using Outfit Studio. Okay, let's get going with your outfit. The very first thing I want you to do is save yourself a backup copy somewhere safe. We're going to make some pretty big modifications to it in order to get it into the game, and they're not going to be easy to revert. Once you've done that, bring your copy that you don't mind messing up into Outfit Studio. I'm going to use an outfit from Divine Elegance for the example today, which, just as an aside, uses the CBBE body. I typically use UNP but Outfit Studio doesn't care which body type you use, and everything I'm showing you in these tutorials should work for any body type, including males. All right, the biggest issue to watch out for when trying to put an outfit into the game is the body partitions. The partitions in your outfit must match exactly the partitions listed in the plugin record. We can make a patch in SSE Edit to fix the record, but I think it's easiest for now to just change your outfit copy to match the record that I've already made in the tutorial mod. So today we're going to make your outfit match the record I made for the demo mashup outfit in the tutorial mod, and then we will load that into Skyrim so you can see the results of your handiwork. Here's the wedding dress from Divine Elegance, which is a great mod, by the way, and I highly recommend it. The link is in the description. And I've made some changes from the original. I removed all the sleeve lace, removed the corset lace, chopped off part of the skirt, and moved the skirt lace just a tiny bit up to make the overall dress shorter. And then I unpuffed the sleeves a little so they're less 1980s. A word of warning here. Don't move meshes around on the body just yet. We'll get to that later. For now, you can move things very slightly, but anything beyond slight will require you to redo the vertex weight painting. And we won't get there for a few more videos yet because weight painting is a real pain. Okay, so here's the size zero version of my new dress. I'm going to put this into the game as the demo mashup outfit in the tutorial mod. First, I export it. And I don't want to overwrite the original file completely, so I save it with a new name for now. Now I need to check the partitions for each mesh piece, and I need to remove any that are not body partitions so that this outfit will match the plugin record for the demo mashup outfit. Remember, this is just our quick and dirty band aid. There are times you will and times that you won't want to change partitions, so please don't just do this blindly for all your outfits. Okay, in Outfit Studio, changing partitions is easy. Start with your top mesh and then click on the Partitions tab. You can see that for the CBBE body in this outfit, we have three partitions. We want this to only have a body partition since that's what the demo mashup outfit record has, so we need to delete the extra two. This has to be done in exactly the same order for the size zero mesh and the size one mesh, just like how you work with meshes and vertices. So I always start at the bottom and work my way up. I first select four arms, 
right click and then delete partition. Then I select calves, right click and delete partition. Outfit Studio will automatically reassign the vertices that used to be in forearms and calves to the body partition. So we don't have to do anything else here except hit apply. If you forget to hit apply like I did while recording, you'll get a warning. So just hit here to apply it. Now you need to check all the other meshes in your outfit. And for this quick and dirty look, we're going to make sure that they're all set to the body partition. If you see any meshes in your outfit that have two body partitions listed, just delete the bottom one, or if there's three, the bottom two, so that each mesh only has one partition and that single partition says body. Once you've done that, export your outfit again, and I suggest giving it yet another new name in case you need to go back. If you have a size one NIF that you've modified as well, then follow exactly the same steps in exactly the same order as we just did for the size zero NIF, and then export that as well using a new name. Now we're done in Outfit Studio and we just need to do some final steps in the tutorial mod folders. Open the mod, find the meshes folder called Mashup and open it. Your new NIFs should be in here if you were following along with me. And we need to rename them to the Mashup NIFs that are already in here so they will replace those outfits when we go into the game. But we don't want to lose the original pieces. So I like to make myself a folder right inside the mod called original and then move the original NIFs and any interim NIFs that you made to that folder. Once they are moved and you just have the final outfit that you want to see in the game then slow click on it and rename it exactly like the original. In this case, that's mashup underscore zero. Now, if you also made a size one NIF, you can follow exactly the same process to replace the original mashup underscore one file. But since I only made a size zero version, I'm going to fake the game out by copying my size zero file into the size one file, just so I can quickly get into the game to see how it looks. Select the size zero NIF, control C to copy, then control V to paste, Move the original mashup underscore one file to the original folder and then change the copy name so it matches the original mashup underscore one. That should do it, but first I always recommend looking in NIFScope just to be sure everything looks okay there. This looks fine, so now let's head into the game and see. Once I'm in Skyrim, I use the console to search for demo mashup. And if you're following along with me, that's what you'll do. And then I add the outfit to my inventory. Refer to video number seven about testing in Skyrim if you aren't sure how to do that. Then I open my inventory, find the outfit. You should ignore the ground model here, which will still show the original gray shirt and put your outfit on. Voila! If all has gone well, you should see yourself in the new outfit. If your outfit uses a body that doesn't match your body replacer mod, you'll probably see seams at the hands, feet, and maybe neck. In my case, I have UNP in my game when I did this recording, so you can see the body seams because this outfit is made for CBBE. Don't worry about that for now. Just have a look and see what your outfit looks like. If you only made a size zero mesh and then copied that to the size one NIF, you will see here that the outfit does not weight slide since both of those files are identical. Also, if you only made a size zero mesh and your body weight is set to anything except zero, you will see body seams. So I would suggest just popping into race menu and setting your body weight down to zero for this testing. Now note here that you can remove weight sliding in the SSE edit record to get rid of this problem, but that's a topic for another day. If you don't see the real outfit textures and instead you see some purplish blobby thing on your body or maybe other very strange textures, then there's a texture issue. 
which is beyond the scope of this video to address. However, if the textures looked okay in Outfit Studio and okay in NIFScope, then they should look okay here. There may be other weird things that you see, and unfortunately I can't troubleshoot all possibilities in this short video. But rest assured that as you learn more, you will be able to identify problems and be able to fix them all on your own. If things did not work out so well and your outfit is all crazy in the game, or maybe even the worst happened and your game is crashing, then take a deep breath and relax. If you aren't too discouraged, then try again to follow the steps in this video and see if that fixes it. If not, then it just means you made some changes to your outfit that are not compatible with something. And so you'll probably have to pause on trying to see your hard work in Skyrim until we get a few more videos under our belts. Once you are done testing, I suggest reverting the tutorial mod files back to the way they were. Just follow the steps we did earlier, except in reverse this time. For example, change the mashup underscore zero file name back to underscore new two. Delete the mashup underscore one file, which is just a copy of the new size zero file. And then take these files from the original folder and put them back into the mashup folder. Most importantly, don't give up. As this tutorial series progresses, you will learn more about all the little things you need to keep in mind for making successful outfits. Keep practicing and keep exploring and most of all, keep having fun. I'm really proud of all of you for your courage to jump in and start learning. If you'd like to share any screenshots of your outfits, please post them in the tutorial mods page. I would really love to see your results. Next time, after a short vacation hiatus, I'll get on to the clipping videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye.